John Abel looked like an average Joe, with an interest in stamps and sports, when his case landed in the United States Supreme Court. However, Abel and one of his key defense witnesses were also alleged to be members of the Aryan Brotherhood prison gang. Members were known to abide by the principle that snitches get stitches. In United States v. Abel, the court looked at whether testimony about gang membership was admissible to show that a defense witness could be biased. Abel and two associates allegedly robbed a bank in California. One associate, Kurt Eel, pleaded guilty and cooperated with the prosecution to testify that Abel was guilty too. Abel and Eel had a prison friend, Robert Mills, who was not involved in the robbery. Mills testified that Eel told him that Eel made up his story to get a better deal from the government. The prosecution then asked Eel back to the stand to state that first, Abel and Mills were members in a gang, and second, those gang members commonly lied for each other. Before Eel testified again, the federal district court heard arguments from both sides whether the jury should hear the gang testimony. To reduce potential prejudice, the district court provided some precautions. The judge didn't allow anyone to state the gang's name, offered to give the jury instructions on how to fairly consider the testimony, and stopped Eel when he went into detail about punishments that disloyal members receive. The jury ultimately convicted Abel. Abel appealed to the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals, arguing that Eel's rebuttal testimony was too prejudicial under Federal Rule of Evidence 403. A divided panel of judges reversed Abel's robbery conviction. The Court of Appeals found the potential prejudice created by Eel's testimony outweighed the probative value, or importance, of the rebuttal testimony to the government's case. The Court of Appeals was also concerned that group memberships alone can't prove that a person's actual beliefs or actions coincide with a group's rules. The United States Supreme Court granted cert. 